Okay, now let us go to uh, the other domir, the other type of domir, which is the domir mutasil. Uh, so this is similar to our previous lesson, ka, ki, and ya. Uh, if you want to say your, you want to say your for male and female, and you want to say my. Now, since you have learned huwa, hiya, and nahnu, uh, he, she, and we, how do we say her, his, and also our? Uh, so this is the uh, Domir Muntasil, yeah? The other version for the Domir Muntasil. Uh, okay, so what are the words? Okay, we have learned uh, all of them in our lesson. So what are the words? So for example, the first one, they want to they want to combine the word Walid and also Huwa. But uh, this is not, they, they do not want to say he is a father. If they want to say Huwa is a father, they will put the word Huwa in front of the word Walid. And then they will say huwa walidun. He is a father. But what they want to say, what do they want to say now is they want to say his father. And this is what they want to say. His father. Instead of he, they want to change to his, his father. So the question is, what is the correct word? We cannot say huwa anymore because huwa is he. So we don't say huwa. Uh, what is the word that we should to replace the word huwa, the word is hu. This is the word. We don't see this in our in our converse, in the conversation, but we do see this in the hadith. Uh, in the hadith, you have this word radiyallahu an hu. Uh, if you still remember that radiyallahu an hu, so that word, yeah. So this is the word hu. To replace the word huwa, we say, we put the ha. And how do you read the ha? There are two ways. There are two ways to read this ha. The first one is with a dhamma. Hu. Yeah? And the second one is with a kasra. He. So whenever you say hu at the end of a word or he at the end of the word, so most of the time it means his. Yeah? So for this example, walid, who, you just combine the two, walid and who, you say walidu who, walidu who. So this is his father. Okay, so that is the first word. Hua, he, but when you want to say his, you change to who. And as I mentioned, there are two ways of saying this, of reading the word who. One is who, another one is he yeah okay now when do you say who when do you say he okay when do you say who when do you say he it will depend on the vowel of the previous word previous letter sorry it will depend on this letter the vowel of that letter if the vowel of this letter you read it with wali do then it is always who if the word or if the previous letter is with a fatha, walida, walida, then the ha is also with hu. So you say walidu hu and also walida hu. Yeah, so these are the two conditions where you have to read the ha with a hu, ha. But if the word ends with a kasra, so let's say in another sentence, they read walidi instead of walida or walidu. Then the ha, if you want to say his father, and in this case, the ha will have to have a kasra. So we change to walidi he. Right? So this is the two ways of reading the ha. ha. In Quran, when you read the Quran, uh, there is a hukum for this ha. Uh, this ha is called the ha. Ha ad -domir. Uh, domir is the word that we learned here in our lesson. Domir pronoun. So the ha is referring to the ha of the domir, the pronoun. His, he or who. He or who. And in the Quran, if you see this, waliduhu or walidihi, the ha, you have to read with a long vowel. Uh, that is in the Quran. So you have a hukum. In Tajwid, they call it the mad, mad silah. Mad silah. Yes, mad silah. Who he and so on yeah so this is the that is in the tajweed but what is important for us is we understand the meaning of this who and also he 
it means his so this is the first one yeah who who are who now the next word the next word is here what is uh, the domir mutasil for here here is of course this is domir monfasil when you say here it means she she but of course she walid no they, they do not want to say she is a walid it is wrong she is a father of course this is wrong what do they want to say what they want to say is they want to say her father so how do you say her father we do not use the word here no we have to change to another domir domir mutasil and the domir is ha 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 and alif ha and alif so what is the word you just combine the word walid to the word ha so it becomes waliduha so the ha ah, this is her her father all right so ha ah, only one way to read this ha it is always ha you don't read he or you don't read who yeah so waliduha that is the second domir who his ha her okay that is the second one and the last one is how to say our. Uh, so you have learned the word nahnu, we. Nahnu is we. But in this, uh, as, uh, in this lesson, they do not want to say we. We are fathers, no. We, they do not want to say we. They want to say our. So how do we say our? We don't use nahnu anymore. We change to na, non and alif. Na, non and alif, yeah? Na. So na means our. For example, walid, you just add na, walid, you combine it to the na, so na, this is now our, waliduna, our father, yeah, waliduna. So these are the three domir mutasil, corresponding to the domir munfasil that we have learned just now. Nahnu, na, uh, huwa, hu, hu or he, hiya, ha, okay. So uh, with this, we have six. Uh, you have six uh, of each of the domir. Six for the domir mutasil and six for the domir monfasil. Yes. Okay. This is one example. Okay. We look at another example. Now this is for the female word, for, for the uh, word that ends with the ta. What happens if you have a word that ends with the ta, such as the word usra, family? Uh, you want to say uh, his family her family and our family what do you do this is similar to what we did with the damir ka yeah you just combine usra to usra to ka that's all so in this case usra and huwa of course you didn't say huwa you change to hu so what is the word the word is usra to hu yeah just combine because it is damir mutasil you have to combine you have to attach that damir to the word to the previous word Usratuhu, his family. Usratuhu. When, and if you want to say her family, Usratu and Hiya, of course we don't say Hiya, we don't use Hiya, you have to change to Ha. So this is the example. Usratuha, her family. Usratuha. And the other one is, you want to say our, uh, we don't say Nahnu anymore, because Nahnu is we. We are family. If you want to say we are a family, then you say nahnu usra. You put the word nahnu in the front of the word nahnu usra. But now we don't want to say we. We want to say our our family. So what do we say? We change the word nahnu to na. We combine the two words, so it becomes usratuna. Usratuna. Right? Okay. Any question for these three domir? Na, hu, and also ka. Aha. Any questions? No question. Okay, because this is similar to ka, ki, and also ya. Yeah, so just a different words. Okay, so now you have six plus six.